Oh, hey, Snugglers. This is probably pretty infuriating, huh? Not very pleasant to listen to me talk with a mouthful of peanut butter, is it? Well, baby, I got one question for you. Got milk? If you live in the United States, first of all, congratulations, because you live in the same country as yours truly. But more importantly, you've likely heard of the Got Milk campaign that was shoved down everybody's throats in the 90s and early 2000s. Not unlike that peanut butter sandwich that I shoved down my throat just moments ago. Apparently, and I'm paraphrasing here, dairy farmers were making just way too much milk after World War II, and instead of slowing down production, they wanted to just convince the general public to drink more milk instead. So they all got together and pooled their money up to pay politicians to push milk Propaganda, again, I'm paraphrasing. And one of the things that came out of that was the Got Milk campaign. Congratulations, America, the government is run by cows. The kicker though, is that milk sales did not increase despite all of the political pushes, despite all of the advertising that they did. Milk consumption just has gone down ever since like the 70s. There were so many new things coming out. Sodas, uh, iced tea, Gatorade. People didn't think milk was sexy anymore. I'm a rebellious teen in the 1980s and gosh darn it, I want a Pepsi. So even when we've basically got a cow sitting in the Oval Office calling the shots, people still didn't want to drink milk because drinking milk is gross. But that didn't stop the California Milk Processor Board from making 18 billion commercials to try to drill this into your head. Look at this, you stupid little consumer. Kermit the Frog drinks milk. Don't you want to be like Kermit the Frog? I bet his bones are damn near indestructible. Advertising is about subtle hints here and there, right? It's long-term exposure to familiarize consumers with stuff. For example, those nasty, despicable, awful Charmin bears live in my head rent-free, and I really wish they didn't, but that's advertising. It's awesome. And it's also awful. <laughs> All of the milk stuff extended into the school system as well, to the point where at our school, Drinking water at lunch was not an option. <laughs> you had to drink frickin' milk. Oh, you want some water? Little H2O to stay hydrated? Walk a quarter mile to the nearest drinking fountain. But not until we dismiss you. Oh, you're lactose intolerant? That is too bad. Looks like you're gonna be farting all day. And this sounds bizarre, but I swear to God it actually happened. When I was in elementary school, we had two representatives from, I guess, <laughs> Big Dairy? <laughs> they came to our school and hit a bunch of wooden coins around on the playground and then set us off to fight over them Hunger Games style. And then w when the dust settled, they told us that 10 of those coins had a white dot on the back. So if you turned your coin over and you had a white dot, that means that you got to be in your own freaking got milk ad. Holy shit! I get to be on a poster in cafeterias of schools across the nation? Do I get to meet the Manning brothers? No, all we did was smear a little yogurt on our lips and then take a headshot with a Nikon cool pics and print off a black and white photo in the computer lab. And then we hung them in the hallways of our school. So needless to say, a little disappointing. So in true Scott Kramer fashion, I wanna take a look at some commercials. How's that sound? That sound cool? Okay, everybody, who's ready to go on an edutainment extravaganza? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> we'll just do it right here, actually. So the Got Milk campaign started in 1993 with a commercial directed by Michael Bay. Yes, that Michael Bay. And now let's make that random call with today's $10,000 question. It's a tough one. Who shot Alexander Hamilton in that famous duel? Let's go to the phones and see who's out there. Hello? Hello, for $10,000, who sh- Alan Blur. Excuse me? Alan Blur. Hold on, let me get some milk. No! I'm afraid your time is almost up. Alan Blur. I'm sorry, maybe next time. Got milk? This commercial won like a zillion awards and was listed as one of the best commercials of all time. Don Draper can suck it. Milk runs the advertising world now. The premise of the commercial doesn't really have anything specific to do with milk though. Like what happens? A guy has a mouthful of peanut butter and he needs to wash it down. Okay, you don't need milk for that. You ever heard of water, nerd? It's still an entertaining commercial, but does it sell milk? Spoiler alert. No. This is actually a theme in a lot of the Got Milk ads, and it was a conscious choice. Apparently, the milk industry had previously been pushing the benefits of milk, like it has calcium, it has protein, 
It tastes like pond water filtered through a child's mitten, but people didn't seem to care about those things as the years went on. So instead of focusing on the good things that milk could do for you, they decided to focus on the bad things that would happen if you didn't have milk. So maybe you're in a hospital with a full body cast on and some family gives you a cookie, but not any milk to wash it down and you presumably die. Got milk. Pretty relatable. Maybe you're a disgusting slob and you have a little intimate dessert date with your significant other. <laughs> Yum. But, oh no, there's no milk. I can't believe it, we're out. So, you don't get to drink milk, I guess. We've all been there. Maybe you're a cat and your little old lady owner ran out of milk, so she tries to give you fake milk instead. But you want the real thing, so you kill her. Uh-oh. Got milk? I mean, that's just a regular Thursday night. There was also a trend in these commercials of people just putting empty milk containers back in the fridge and then realizing it later and being like, oh no, I'm out of milk. You just saw it in the cat lady ad. There's this one where a doofy dad does it because when it comes to media, dads are fucking idiots. Am I right, guys? Am I right? Dads are stupid. <laughs> right, guys? And then there's, um, well, there's this one. Here you go, boy. Wow! Cookie! Who put this back empty? I, I didn't drink it. Cookies? Did you drink it? <laughs> it's boots off, fat boy! You see, I, um, got milk. <laughs> so yeah, they murder the Pillsbury Doughboy. You know what makes me crave a big old glass of milk? Death. Drink your milk, kids. I don't want milk. Oh yeah? Well, I happen to know that milk helps build strong bones. So drink up. Well, Mr. Miller told me he never drinks milk. Look at him. Hi, kid. Oh, that's not good. Got milk. Red Bull had to pay a $13 million settlement because of their it gives you wings slogan. Um... Apparently it doesn't actually give you wings, who knew? And people said that they were making like false claims about their product. D doesn't this kind of feel like it's riding that same line a little bit? The claim that not drinking milk will have a negative effect on your overall health seems, I don't know, not true? <laughs> you could go your entire life without drinking milk and be perfectly fine. The commercial started out that way. It was like, yeah, look at this guy. He doesn't drink milk, he's fine. But I guess they dance around the legality a little bit because they're not actually saying oh, his arms fell off because he doesn't drink milk. It's just kind of implied, I guess. I don't know, I'm not a lawyer. I know advertising uses hyperbole all the time and I personally don't have a big issue with this, but I'm just surprised that these messages in particular didn't end in like a false advertising lawsuit. People will be suing companies for pretty much anything nowadays. Like it just seems, I guess, how do you sue milk? Might be pretty hard to get a cow to take the stand. That's all I'm saying. Most of these particular ads don't really care about milk being healthy for you though. Like in almost all of them, the people are eating unhealthy foods. The milk is just there to lube their tube. <laughs> <laughs> and that just wasn't getting the job done sales-wise. And it also wasn't very relatable for people. Like, yeah, it's a little annoying when you run out of milk, but it's not that big of a deal. I don't think I'll ever be in a situation where I'm hosting a cooking show, downing hot peppers, and then my cameraman drinks the last glass of milk. Not really a scenario I think I'm gonna find myself in anytime soon. <laughs> Oh look, death. So at this point, pretty much everybody knew about the Got Milk campaign, but they still didn't want to drink cow leakage. They'd rather drink a Snapple or something. And it was time to shift back to a health-focused strategy. Uh, sort of. What's up? Oh, it's eat, that's a miss, it's lame. Sports drinks, colas, like that's working up there? But you get something good. Vitamin D, I got, you want the D? You need me. Who's got some milk? Milk, milk, milk. Milk, milk, milk. Oh, right there. Baskets that way, chief. Yeah. Want to play? Milk has vitamins and minerals you need to play hard. You want to know a guaranteed way to puke all over the basketball court? Drink a bunch of milk before you play. They're really trying to get you to substitute a Powerade for a, a glass of milk? Ew. Imagine that sloshing around in your belly when you're trying to break someone's ankles. It's just not going to happen. I think milk is the last thing I'd want to drink before playing 
basketball. Maybe like a Mike's Hard Lemonade. That might be worse, but it's it's up there. Matter of fact, now that I say it out loud, Mike's Hard Lemonade before basketball doesn't sound that bad. <laughs> Okay, who are you? This is not the last thing you want to see before you die. <laughs> Look at Iron Man! <laughs> Eat your heart out, Robert Downey Jr. Okay, who are you? Uh, the Milkman? Do you have a sidekick? Oh, everybody was freaking out when Scarlet Witch finally wore this outfit in WandaVision, but they conveniently forgot about the Got Milk commercial? Have you been fighting crime long? I don't fight crime. What do you fight? Wheat bones. A never-ending supply of milk. And chocolate milk. <laughs> The MCU wishes they could serve this hard. <laughs> so again, at no point did this advertising campaign increase the sale of milk. It just, it did not happen. You could argue that maybe seeing one of these commercials on TV would remind you to add milk to your grocery list, like if you, if you were running out of milk, but it wasn't convincing people to buy more milk than they already were. Sometimes you just gotta move on, and the Got Milk campaign was officially retired in 2014, according to every article that I read. But apparently that was a fat old fib, because even just within the last few months, they've still been milking this for all it's worth, pun absolutely intended. They made a commercial where a glass of milk was like, romantically involved with different foods. I'm just at a time in my life when I wanna spice things up a bit, you know, experience new things to see what I like and don't like. I say just go with it. Together. I don't even, does that make you want milk? <laughs> what? And then they tried to do just a shameless ripoff of the Some Good News show that John Krasinski was doing last year. Welcome to Glass Half Full News with Amanda Germain. I'm Amanda Germain and this is Glass Half Full News brought to you by Got Milk. Your daily news for whatever day you're watching this. It's just not good. It's not good, guys. We're going live to our very own unboxing expert, Polly. I have no idea what's in here. Sweet! They didn't have to put it out. They made it, doesn't mean they had to put it out. If things haven't been crazy enough this year, the Pentagon officially recognized the existence of UFOs. And no one's talking about that. Isn't that insane? Those poor kids, too. They poured their heart into it. And look at the like-dislike ratio on this. People hate this. Those kids didn't deserve this. And really the only other thing to mention is that they tried to make milk a thing on TikTok recently. And just like, you think some kid is gonna go buy a carton of milk because he saw a TikTok? I just, I don't, I don't know. Milk, 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 yeah. Guzzle milk, drink it all. Make a milk waterfall. Cookie milk, stack it tall. Milk with no rhythm at all. Make you run fast milk. Stay awake in class milk. Pour it by the glass milk. Is that a mustache milk? Boom, 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 base milk. Smile on your face milk. Put you on the spot milk. Question, got milk? What do you expect people to do? What do you want them to do with the milk? A little TikTok hashtag is gonna completely reverse the <laughs> declining sale of milk over the last four decades? It's so dumb. Milk isn't cool, guys. <laughs> Stop trying to make milk cool. Leave it to the professionals like me. I've been sipping milk like every damn day. Super strong bones, yeah, they never gonna break. Pull up to the crib, yeah, you know I'm gonna say, gonna say, gonna say, do you got milk today? Mine straight from the farm I'm the milkman, baby That's just part of my charm Looking around at your beverages Is cause for alarm I guess that I'm the only one That won't be breaking my arm And that's why I've been feeling real good tonight Looped up under my hood That's right But I don't know how my body Is gonna handle it Maybe play it safe And get a candle lit I've been sipping milk Like every damn day Super strong bones Yeah, they never gonna break Pull up to the crib Yeah, you know I'm gonna say Gonna say Gonna say Do you got Chug of the good stuff Soaking wet throat Never dry when the food stuck Suck it down Got the residue on the lip Look Matching all the photos That the people I love took Martha 
the steward got milk. Steward little got milk. Little babies got milk. Everybody, everybody got the milk like every damn day. The strong bones, yeah, they never gone break. Pull up to the crib, yeah, you know I'm gon' say, gon' say, gon' say. Do you got milk today? Overall thoughts on the Got Milk campaign, two out of 10. I'd rather watch Big Heads. Let's recap. They've been running an insane amount of milk ads for the last two plus decades. Everybody knows about the Got Milk campaign. It still didn't convince people to buy more milk. You know what I think? And this is just a conspiracy, so take it with a grain of salt. But I think the California Milk Processor Board kept running these ads, kept going with this campaign, even though it wasn't successfully selling more milk because the trademark of Got Milk was becoming so well known, so popular, and they were licensing it out left and right. So they were making money off of Got Milk. They sold the name to everybody. Nabisco, those are the people that make Oreo. It was on their packaging. Um, General Mills, it was on cereal boxes. Got Milk Barbie, Got Milk Hot Wheels. I mean, for goodness sake, even the iconic mustache posters weren't originally Got Milk. It was somebody else and then they just merged them together. So maybe they didn't care that they weren't really selling more milk because they were too busy making money selling the idea of milk. Those clever bastards. <laughs> when I was looking stuff up for this video, a few different times I came across people who were like, did you ever think that humans are the only species that drink another species milk? That's pretty messed up, right? That's super weird. And I don't know, we're like the only species that does a lot of stuff. <laughs> Have you ever seen a different animal like baking bread. <laughs> if you're really scared of milk, just like drink almond milk or something or coconut milk, is that a thing now? Or don't at all. I don't care. <laughs> I can't wait to get a chug of milk. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all I got for you this time. Um, yeah, I just made a whole video about milk. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and just give that like button a little a little tickle. Also, the song you can listen to on like Spotify and, and Apple Music and all that stuff if you want to, <laughs> if you're a weirdo. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter or whatever else. There's a bunch of links in the description to like other stuff that I have, I suppose, as well as a link to my Patreon. Those that are listed here are in the top tier on my Patreon. And guys, the only thing I have to say is Damien, Stop getting in trouble at school. What are you doing? How many times I gotta tell you this? You're a good kid. Don't make me come over there. Stay out of trouble for the rest of the year and we'll let you drink soda at lunch instead of milk. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you again very soon. Everybody got the milk like every damn day. Strong bones, yeah, they never gone break. Pull up to the crib, yeah, you know I'm gonna say, gonna say, gonna say.